Hello everyone, welcome to Tech and Target. This is the fifth video of the InfiTQ coding preparation series. So let's get started. The problem statement is quite simple. So the firstly, the name of the problem is the number of odd subarrays. So the name itself makes uh, clear about the problem statement that. So we have to find the number of distinct subarrays in an array of positive integers such that the sum of the subarray is an odd integer and two subarrays are considered different if they either start or end at different indices, right? So basically, we will be provided with an array of positive integers. So we'll be provided with an array which is having only positive integers and we have to find how many number of distinct subarrays are there in that particular array, which such that the sum of all the elements of that subarray is results in an odd integer, right? Right. So there are two uh, there are two choices, right? So whether uh, the sum will be either odd or it will be either uh, even, right? So we have to find only such subarrays such that the sum of all the elements of that subarray would be a odd integer, and we have to find how many such subarrays are there in the given array, right? So this statement says that two subarrays will be considered different if they either start at a different index or they end at a different index. All right. So, so we'll see what is the input format. So input format uh, is very simple. There will be two lines. The first line contains an integer n denoting the size of the array. So the second line. So the next line contains n space separ separated integers denoting the elements of the array. So the first line contains n, so which will be the size of the array. And the next line contains n space separated integers, which will uh, you know eventually denote the elements of that array. Now, what we have to do in the output, we have to print the number of distinct subarrays in an array of positive integers such that the subarray is an, uh, the sum of the subarray is an odd integer. Now, let us try to understand this through this example. Now, what is this according to the input, input format? This is n, which is the size of your array, right? So, this is the size of the array that they are provided, and these are the elements, elements of the array. All right. So elements of the array. Now what we have to do, we have to find out, uh, so the approach for solving this problem goes like this. So we will try to generate all possible subarrays from this array and we will check how many of them are having odd, odd sum, right? Now, if we try to start with the element one, so the first subarray would be just one, the second subarray would be one comma two, the third subarray would be starting with one, then two, then it will be three. Now, what are the subarrays that will be starting with two here? So it will be two, then two comma three. Now, what are the number of uh, subarrays that are starting with three? So this is just one, right? So first this element, then this along with this, then this along with this. So three elements starting from one and two elements which are starting from two and one element which is starting from three. Right. So totally there are one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are totally six subarrays are there. All right. So there are totally six subarrays. And in that six subarrays, we have to find how many of these subarrays are having some as odd. Right. So we will check that out. Right. Now, so what are the what is the sum of the subarray? It is one. What is the sum of the subarray? One plus two is three. What is the sum of this subarray? 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 3, it is 6. And what is the sum of this subarray? It is 2. What is the sum of this subarray? 2 plus 3 is 5. And what is the sum of this subarray? It is 3. Now, we want to remove all those which are having sum as even. So, is 1 not even? Yeah, no, it is not even. So, we'll not do anything. This is also not even. This is even. So, we'll remove this. We'll remove this. Now, these, are, these two are odd. So all these are now odd. So this is now let's say we'll initialize a count variable, which is initialized to zero and we'll check whether this is odd. Yes. So increment your count by one. Now we'll check for this. Is this odd? Yes. So we'll increment it by two. Now we'll go for this. This is again count becomes incremented by one, which will result in three, then we'll, which will result in four. So totally there are four number of sub arrays which are having some some of the subarray as odd. So we will directly return this or print this.
So since there are four elements uh, or four subarrays that are having the sum as odd, so we will return four here. All right. Now, so I hope you are able to un uh, understand the approach here. So the approach is very simple. We will directly first uh, we will uh, you know generate all the possible subarrays and then we will find out the sum of each subarray and we will check whether that sum is odd. So if the sum is odd, then we will increment our count or else we will ignore that. Uh, ignore that, right? And finally, after iterating through all the subarrays, then we will print whatever the current value of count is there. So we'll directly print it. So I hope I was able to uh, make you understand the approach. Now let's uh, look at the code, right? So here is the code. So firstly, uh, we'll create a scanner object. Then we will uh, the first line contains an integer n. So we'll take that input. Then after that, we'll create an array of size n. And the next line will be containing n space separate integers. So for that, we'll run a loop from zero to n, and we'll keep on adding that uh, uh, adding the elements to our array. And what what did I tell you? So we just need to create a count variable which will be initialized to zero. Then we will start looping from the first element, and we'll go till the end. And uh, so basically, we'll be in a, creating a variable called as sum, and we will be starting from the ith index, right? So for uh, in this case, so the elements was one, two, and three, right? So zero, one, two. Now, when i is here, now I will start my j from here and I will initialize my sum as zero. Now, what will happen here? So firstly, so this j loop will run from here till here, right? And at every time, this will add the element at that index to our sum. So initially the sum was zero, now, since j is here, I will add the sum to my uh, sum where I will add this value to my sum variable and I will check whether this sum is even uh, uh, with, uh, whether this sum is odd or not. If this is odd, then I'll increment my count. So count was zero. So now I'll check whether this sum is uh, uh, sum is equal to one. Is this odd or not? So I see that one is odd. So I'll increment my count by one. Now, after this, I'll increment my J pointer. Now J will come over here. I see that the element at this location is two. So I'll add two to my sum, which will result in three. And I will check whether this uh, whether this is odd or not. I see that three is odd. So I'll increment my count and I will move my J pointer here. Now I see that the element of this index is three. So I'll add three, which will result in six. Now I see that six is not odd. So count will remain same. Now, since the entire array is done, which are uh, elements starting from one is over. Now I'll move my I index to here and I will move my J index here. So I will be here, J will be here. And again, sum will be again now initialized to zero. Now I will again do what? So I will again add two to my sum. Now I see that two is not odd. So count will remain two itself. Then J pointer will move here. Now the element at this index is three. So I'll add that index to uh, I'll the, I'll add the value three to my sum, which will result in five. Now I see that five is odd, so I'll increment my count. Then after this, the since the array is again exhausted, I will uh, remove my i pointer from here and, and I will move my i pointer forward. Now I will come here and j will come here. Again, I, I will initialize my sum to zero. Now what I will do, since j pointer is over here, I will add this to my sum, which will result in sum as three. And I see that three is a odd number, so I'll increment my count and I will move my J pointer forward. Now I see that the entire array is exhausted. So I will move by I forward. So I again see that I is, uh, you know, I is also moving out of bounds. So once this condition is reached, whatever the value that is stored in my count variable, I will print that count variable to my, to the console. So since there were four subarrays which are having some as uh, odd, I will return four here. So that's what is happening here. So basically we'll start looping from the first element of the array and we'll create a sum variable and we'll initialize it to zero for every i, uh, you know, for every i variable, right? Now, what I will do, I will start iterating from i th element and I will go on till the last element of the array. And at every time, what I will do, I will keep on adding that element at that particular index to my sum variable. And and every and at every iteration, after adding the element to my sum. I will check whether the sum is odd or not. If the sum is odd, 
then I will increment my count. If the sum is not odd, then I will not do anything. I'll just ignore that and I will go for next iteration. All right, next iteration of J. Now, once I complete my iteration of J, I will increment my I pointer again, right? So initially I will be zero. Then after the entire thing is over, then I will be again moved to one, then two, then till the N minus one value. Right. Now, once entire array is exhausted for i value also, then what I will do, whatever the value that is stored in my count variable that I will print and I will exit from the program. So this is what the program looks like. And let us try uh, for the value that we have got. So which is n value is three, then the elements are one, two, one, three. So answer should be ideally four. So we should be getting it. So as you can see, we are getting four. So yes, uh, this is how the code looks like. So I hope I was able to uh, make you understand the code better. So if I did, please like this video and share this video among your friends. And thanks for watching this entire video. Now we'll meet you again in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.